Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Um, recently, maybe yesterday, I'm not sure, I think so, I did a uh, devotion found in Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1. And after I finished it, I was looking on down in that chapter and we're doing some reading, and I found right down below verse 1, verse 4 and 5 that really spoke out and something we need to know and pay attention to. And it, I want you to listen to these verses. Now, these are this is some serious verses. All of God's word is for, you know, to make us a better Christian and a better person. But listen to what it says. When thou vowest a vow unto God, defer not to pay it. For he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Better is it that thou shouldest not vow than that thou shouldest vow and not pay. A vow. What is a vow? That's a solid promise that you make to God that must be kept. It must be kept. You're promising God that you're going to do something or that you're not going to do something. And we must do our level best to do or not do whatever we're promising to God. And it goes so far in verse 5. It says, it is better that thou should not vow than thou, that thou shouldest and then not pay. That's an example. It is better not to vow at all than to vow and not fulfill. New Testament believers make a vow to live separate from sin and dedicated to God when they partake of the Lord's Supper. You know, we recently did the Lord's Supper and, and we took time prior to doing it to seek God and ask him to search us and help us to make sure we had no sin in our heart. We, we asked for forgiveness and because and, and we're promising the Lord that we're going to do our level best. To seek the pleasures of sin after making this vow brings his anger and his judgment. Because what it really means is that vow is a lie. Now, we're going to make mistakes. And there's a difference between sinning when you didn't mean to, then making a vow, and then just blatant, blatantly doing it. There's a difference. So we need to make sure lying to God may bring severe punishment. It's a serious thing, a vow. It's a solemn promise. That we make to God. Like I said. To either do something. Or not to do. And it says right there. When thou vowest a vow unto God. Defer not to pay it. For he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay that. Which thou hast not. Thou hast vowed. Better is it that thou shouldest not. Vow. Than to do it. And not pay it. My friend it's a very serious thing. You know you may promise to do something for an individual. And sometimes we forget it. Sometimes we maybe didn't sincerely mean it. And we get out of it. We just don't do it. That's bad enough as it is doing that to a fellow person. But to God, it's even more serious. We're promising God we're not going to go out there and just live any way we want to. We're not going to go out there and continue to sin after we promised we were not going to do it. So my friend, be thinking about that today. Anytime... You go to promise God something. You go to make that vow to God. You might want to stop and think about it. Are you making something you can't do? So today, look at verse 4 and 5 in chapter 5 in the book of Ecclesiastes. Take it, break it down, and study it. And look at what it's saying. Because you know what? It is very serious. And God takes it seriously. Lord, thank you today for your word we thank you lord even sometimes when it sounds so harsh but lord we know it's for our own good it's for us to live the life you want us to live and we need to take these words seriously and do our level best with the help of the holy spirit to do what we say we're going to do and not to do what we say we're not going to do help us today to live the life that brings you peace bring pleasure and glory and honor so that your name may be lifted up in all things in Jesus' name today I pray. Amen. God bless you today is my prayer.